Physical examination of the elbow can be broken down into compartments. The anterior compartment, the medial compartment, the lateral compartment, and the posterior compartment. Elbow injuries can also be viewed as acute injuries or traumatic injuries, as well as overuse disorders. Common problems seen in the primary care office include olecranon bursitis, medial and lateral epicondylosis, or overuse disorders. When considering traumatic injuries, radial head fractures should be considered and a high suspicion for Salter Harris fractures in the pediatric population. When examining the elbow, first inspect, looking for a generalized swelling. Focal swelling can also be considered at the olecranon bursa. At the olecranon bursa. Um, next, range of motion of the elbow. Checking for full extension, full flexion, and then pronal supination movements. Palm up, and then palm down. Looking for symmetry. Extension is very important, if, after, especially after a traumatic injury. If a patient's unable to fully extend their elbow, you have to consider significant trauma, possibly a radial head fracture, or in a pediatric population, salter fracture or supracondylar fracture. Next, we go on to palpation. And this is where the idea of compartments uh, can be uh, very helpful. The most common disorder that we're going to see in the primary care office, whether we're talking about traumatic or non-traumatic, is probably going to be lateral epicondylosis. So you can start at the lateral compartment. So structures you want to palpate are the lateral condyle and the radial capitella joint. How do you know you're at the radial capitella joint? You need to pronal supinate them passively to see if you're over the radial head. Then you can move on to the medial compartment. You're going to palpate the medial condyle as well as the MCL. The anterior compartment you can also consider palpating just generally over the anterior portion. And the posterior compartment, you palpate the uh, triceps insertion as well as the olecranon bursa. Now we're going to do close up. Uh, views of the palpation examination. Palpating the lateral compartment over the lateral condyle. Distal to this will be the radial capitellar joint, specifically the radial head is what you want to palpate for. Checking with pronal supination. Palpate the medial collateral ligament along its course and the medial epicondyle. Palpating the anterior compartment generally palpating the posterior compartment at the triceps insertion and over the olecranon bursa. Good. Now we move on to special testing and with this we're checking muscular tendinous disorders, nerve disorders, and instability problems. So starting with a muscular tendinous problems such as uh, lateral or medial epicondylosis, you want to stress structures in the muscles here and here. Um, so, check wrist extension and finger extension against resistance. And you check for weakness and pain. And then you check the medial epicondylar flexor group, finger flexion, and wrist flexion. So, against resistance. Next, if they're having posterior pain, you can check uh, the triceps mechanism. Pushing against my hand, or checking elbow extension. Um, for nerve disorders, probably most clinically important nerve to examine would be the uh, ulnar nerve as it travels through the cubital tunnel on the medial uh, side of the medial compartment of the elbow. Um, two ways you can uh, provocatively test for uh, nerve impingement or nerve irritation is to do a tenels over the cubital tunnel, tapping here, checking for paresthesias or symptoms down the ulnar nerve distribution and hyperflexion nerve tension sign as it can put tension as it uh, bends around the cubital tunnel. Next, checking for instability of the medial collateral ligament on the medial side of the elbow. Uh, valgus stress is applied with the elbow flex at 20 degrees. You do this in supination as well in pronation.
One especially helpful test when checking for um, lateral epicondylosis type problems is just basic handshake. Squeeze the tenderness at the lateral epicondyle. Um, that seems to be a highly sensitive test uh, for that problem, for that common problem.